I had a mud hole in my yard that yeah. just cost me fifteen grand. What? Wait, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Who write the name of this person down? No, I, no, I, give it to me. But I got because I've got about uh, three foot of concrete. About eight foot oh, wide. Well, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> then you probably got oh, yeah. pretty good well, deal. You got a good right. deal. You got yeah, a good deal. Well, that mud hole was, there's concrete there now. Where I just pull that brand new pickup right at the door and step out and step on the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Si, 15 years ago, you think you'd have money for concrete at your house? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You still driving that black, <laughs> Look, that I, black Ford Bronco? Oh yeah. <laughs> Did, I'd had to stop picking up that yeah, half time on the way down off, the field. Everybody that went down the field had to pull me in. <laughs> now you're writing checks for fifteen yeah. grand for brand new yeah, concrete this, out in front of my I, triple wide. You know steps. you've made it when there's yeah. a mud hole. Oh yeah. And the solution's just concrete. Yeah, right. just fill it up. Hey, poor concrete. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. It could have went fifty grand. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but I said now. 50. I ain't giving you no $50,000 for a stupid bunch of concrete. Were you getting a new driveway? Uh, well, hey, that would have been all the complete circle. 50? It wasn't 50, it was 25. That's still pretty <laughs> good. But I still, but I still wasn't going to go with that high. Yeah. I said, no, I'll do 15. I, 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 get out of this I got 15. Yeah, I got 15. 25? Oh, that's too much. Yeah, too 25? Much. No, that's too, that's too much. Too steep. Man, I remember that old Bronco. He used to put more oil. Then he did gas. He never changed I, I, the oil in it. No, no. Look, he changed the filter. I don't know filter. what it is about caught me in cars. I bought one when I, I was in the military. Oh, I'm very well okay, aware and of look, what it is. It had, it had two major problems. It you? Blew, it blew a lot of oil out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, your and then the second thing was the distributor. You know, you got a a, a camp shelf that rotates in your distributor. Yeah. That, that it's got uh, high points, about eight high points. That makes your your uh, firing open and close. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as hey, my engine was so hot, it would melt that. It melted that as soon as you put it in there. So my points on my car did not open or close. Mm. They just stayed shut, and it would run like a scalded ape. <laughs> I think you probably answered a lot of your own question right there in that. Uh. Well, but I will, because when I, when I went home, when I got out of the military and retired the first time. Yeah. Okay, and got married. See, I got out of the military, and then three days, I got out from under a four-year contract, and then I signed one for a lifetime. With Miss Christine. With Miss Christine. Who's and look, we, we threw everything we owned in that Plymouth I had with a 383 and a Hearst transmission. Four on the floor, five on the floor, <laughs> yeah, and it would run. But anyway, I would stop and tell them, hey, just put a little bit of gas in it. <laughs> Let me check the oil. I said, hey, by the way, have you got anything real, real thick? And what's that junk they put in? It's in a tube. Phil's coffee. Uh, oh. Well, no, it's some oh. kind of oil. Grease. But it's some kind of <laughs> grease. So I said, how much is this? You know, they said, oh, $7 and something. I said, well, hey, give me two tubes of that and then one quarter of oil, 40 weight. So I'd actually put two tubes of grease in, in the engine plus a quarter of oil. <laughs> and why didn't and it hey, work? And then drive it another 500 miles. <laughs> <clears throat> and, hey, they were still good to go. When what I got you Robertson's got against scheduled maintenance? No, they don't, oh, no, they look, don't like I, I, do, I do everything, all <laughs> that now. And then it, then when it stopped working, he said, piece of junk. It's a yeah. piece of junk. It's right. Then you get rid of it. Now that he can afford to fix it, he's going to take care of it. That makes a lot of sense. When you couldn't, let's yeah. just run it to the day. Well, hey, you never could afford to do it before. That's great. Well, that's right. Well, now he's got little lights that come on and tell him when to go get right. the oil change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, oh, he used oh, to no, depend. This thing's got all the bells and whistles. I'm going down the highway. He used to wait for that first cylinder to start knocking before yeah. he knew he needed an oil change. Oh, no. I'm going down the highway, and this thing starts easing over to the right. Well, get out of the middle of the road. And I'm, I'm like this, and it's still easy. I'm, whoa, whoa. And I don't remember who was with me, but he just said, I, I take it you don't like that. I, I said, no. Nah. He just raced over and tapped something on the screen. And then it, hey. I don't want the truck taking over driving. Oh, look, they got them now. Uh -huh. You can watch a movie on that screen. You you push that button, that truck will drive itself. No. No. And while no. you watching the movie. No. Take a nap, whatever you want to do. It's like right now they're trying to make electric planes. Runs mm. on the battery. Uh-uh. Mm. Yep. Yeah. 
isn't there like a Will Smith movie about why all this is a very bad idea? <laughs> Maybe it was Tom Cruise. No no, 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 I'm just telling you, somebody. The robot's said, turn. It was on TV, something about, hey, they're trying to get planes that run on batteries. And I said, well, hey, take when that happens, the scene of the my crash. flying days are over. Oh, no. You'll be I ain't getting on a plane that runs on a battery. Because <laughs> you're talking about a ripoff. Battery is the biggest ripoff there is. Yeah. It ain't uh, double A's, but I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting on no Tesla no, I ain't plane. But I have noticed that batteries don't like the cold. And when you get up there about 30,000 feet, yeah, it, it gets pretty, it get pretty chilly. Yeah, it gets <laughs> I hadn't stuck my head out the window, but they tell me it's cold. Yeah, I look at that little screen on there, and it says minus 32 degrees. So, I mean, <laughs> batteries and cold don't really go together. But, you know, they'll get it figured out. Yeah, legend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I had a birthday party. That was a good time, And si. it was a good party. You know, oh, how old are you now, sir? 75. Three quarters of a century. 75. My favorite part, I was late because I got off work. I knew this. I knew this. <laughs> and I pull up at 6.15, and the karaoke is going full blast at 6.15. I said, that's how you know he's 75. Like, yeah. We started this thing early. Yeah, they oh, sang happy, be done. They sang happy birthday at 5 after 6. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. You know, in case yeah, you wanted to really? make, in case you wanted to make it home by the time sixty minutes started, right. yeah. you know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pulled up, and it. What song were you? Mm. At one point, you were singing "Purple Rain." No, I didn't sing that one. I, well, I was. I was out in the audience, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, he sang David Allen Coe or something. Yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, from a quarter mile away, I heard "Darling, it. Darling." Yeah. Uh, I you saw are a karaoke a, hey, and it was that's a good song because it says well uh, he's wrote my my friend Steve Goodman has wrote the perfect country western song and then I had to tell him no you didn't write the perfect western didn't say song. nothing about mama because you didn't talk about mama or train or train or beer or getting or drunk trucks, <laughs> or getting drunk <laughs> or prison <laughs> so hey we sat down and wrote another verse and we come home <laughs> So it was. We finally wrote a good, perfect song. Uh, got run over. Yeah, I think that's like, a, It starts out, it was all I could do to keep from crying. I think that's the first time I've ever listened to that song in daylight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I was going to go. That's normally a sunsetter <laughs> only. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was going. And look, I was supposed to meet him in Indiana. David Allen Coe? David Allen Coe. Well, he I, was bet on, I bet y'all have got the long Oh, no, no. Grand. He was on, okay. <laughs> well, he was on Saturday night, and I don't know who the guy that run the venue, but he put David Allen Coe and a rapper on the same stage. On the same ticket? Jay-Z? On the same, on the same venue. <laughs> okay, so, hey, Saturday night was when they was on. <laughs> there were shots fired. <laughs> the police were called. People were arrested, and then they canceled my show the next day. I wasn't. I wasn't. You know, they got rid of that family friendly night. It got canned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they got over that. Were you playing music at this show in theater? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that was when I had my band. Yeah, me and the Psychotics. So you was a daytime act. Yeah. 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 He was an opener late, for the late, opener. Late, yeah. late in the evening. He was that little bitty print down yeah. there on the bottom late, of that late, poster. Late. Uh, <laughs> Uncle David Allen Coe. <laughs> Uncle Sidon the Psycho. I, they probably just abbreviated it US and S or something like that. But <laughs> the US probably, they's probably running they're probably running out. <laughs> but there was a hoot, but anyway they canceled the next the next I, day's I show. Played the field. So, 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 because of the problem. That was in Indiana? That's yeah. tight, man. You performed at a place that got had a shoot. Oh no! Look here, hey, this old crazy old man has been on the Grand Ole Opry three times. Who you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about David Allen. Cole. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you had me confused that. when yeah. you said crazy old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's he's that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I figured he'd have played there more than three times. Oh, boy, I had to have. <laughs> so I always go with Billy Ray. Yeah. Oh, and I did. So I'd be up there, at Billy Ray Sire. Sure did. Singing "Some Gave All" on the Opry stage. That's right. Have you seen hey. that? No. You need to. That sounds hey. phenomenal. Hey. Yeah. So I was with Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. Singing "Some Gave All," holding That's an American right. flag up there. So I was. Hey, I don't. Old Opry. So we gotta find that video. Hey. Yeah. Ain't it nothing is. more American than that. Hey, I, don't get any better. Man, I'm here to found play. it. There, <laughs> told you, uh -oh. told you. you well, let's take a break and we'll come back. Well, we can only play seven seconds of it because we'll get yeah. shut down. But.
Si. What? You still sleeping good on that Helix mattress? What are you talking about? Like sleeping on a cloud? Like sleeping? Guaranteed. Yep, when I have nightmares about that, I'll fall through it. <laughs> that's when it gets rough, boys. But that's how you know you're having good well, sleep hey, on you know, that Helix mattress. You know, you got a good sleep when you're, you, you know. When your dream is you're leaving it? That's right. That's a good thing. And now. Stone's in the club. Stone's uh, in the club. I got that cooling. Cool. Helix. Oh, it makes it's it like sliding on top of an ice cube. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, look, here's the deal. How how cool was it to just go downstairs, though, and there was a box with your mattress in it? Oh, it was real nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. You didn't have to go somewhere. didn't have to worry if people done laid all over look. it and towed it home with you. Nothing like that. Just come to your door. Look, and they've got 14 unique mattresses so that you can get the mattress designed for you. You don't have to get size mattress. Nope. You don't have to get mine. You don't have to get stones. You can get your own because all you got to do is take a quiz, two minutes or less. They'll match one for you. You can click order. You're good to go. It's shipped straight to your door. You never have to go to a mattress store again. And a good night's sleep is just that close. Look, so I took that quiz. It was like simple questions. Big guy sleeps on his back, likes it soft. Boom. Moonlight Lux. That easy. Right. Send it go. to the door. Hey, out. That, that's why Helix knows they're the best thing going. And look, if you want to test it out, you get to keep it at your house for 100 nights. Risk. If they don't want it. If you don't want it, they'll you know come back it's got to it. be good if they give right. you a hundred nights. A hundred nights. Say and then you can say, "Hey, nope, it ain't what I want. It come get it." There you but go. You're not going to do that. Amen. Look, whether you want one with memory foam layers, models, and more responsive foam, responsive foam to cradle your body, enhance cooling features like stone to keep you from overheating at night. That's what happens when you hit your prime and you right. get that jujitsu. It gets hot around the house at night, boy. Uh, hey, <laughs> that's just what happens. <laughs> Look, if your spine needs a little extra TLC, they got you. Every Helix mattress has a hybrid design combining wrap steel coils in the base. Foam layers up top give you the perfect combination of comfort and support. We got a cool one. We got a moonlight man over here. He likes he likes Soft sleeping. clouds, uh, baby. Up like that. That's cool. Hey, that's the moonlight one. That's why you got to have a cool one. <laughs> Moonlight, they got them got, all. Bring oh, that the werewolf in you, boys. Look, it's the best mattress we've slept on. Set, set up is fast and easy. They're delivered in box straight to your door. Don't take our word for it, though. Helix has been awarded the number one mattress picked by Wired Magazine. It's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. And their American made come with a 10 or 15 year warranty, depending on which one you get. Helix is offering up to 20% off all mattress orders now and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Go to helixsleep.com slash duck. There's yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, here we go. Watch Cy real quick. All right, here we go. Start the segment. We got seven seconds. Cy, you are big time beyond all belief, man. <laughs> Hey, look, I was voted the best dress. Hey, man. Pull, pull, you ain't got to hit play. Just look at that on the left side of that screen. Yeah. Look. If that doesn't say America, I don't know what does. So you're saying that says America. It ain't happening anywhere else, sir. Yeah. In the history of time, yeah. ain't nobody else getting on a stage like that with a mullet. Look and a how purple far jacket. away she is. <laughs> hey, look at the look she's got. Hey, she ain't sure about it. And to think he spawned Miley, you know? Oh, boy. I'm just, it's, it's <laughs> wild, man. Anyways. Mm. Just goes to show you, I'm living proof that God is alive and well, boys. And has a sense of a humor. A big sense of humor. Yeah. So is that jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I, I, was, I was once said the best dressed man in Nashville because of that jacket. Don't, don't talk about my jacket. Mm. For like a 10-minute period? Uh, no. When we was up there, when we was having interviews, all the stars were there that day. Do you notice I said all the stars? I did. Okay. <laughs> and you were best dressed. And he was. And I, best I won best dressed man that that week. Mm. That's that why they did sharp dressed man. They were talking about yeah. si. That's what I say. That must sharp be how they got us man. to exhibit that booth there. You can't go wrong singing Billy Gibbons song. Is that? Have you sang sharp dressed man? Yeah. Have you? Of course, I sang it at every time I went out. Did you? Yeah. Look at that. Go, is that what you opened with? That's what opened. <laughs> That's what they start the music. <laughs> and everybody knew, uh oh, he's fixed to come on stage, boy. It's Cy Robinson. Is it weird that when I hear that song now, I just like shake my head? 
I just <laughs> I can't listen to it no, I mean, in its entirety. Oh, Brittany, it's going to mute off, change the station, whatever, as quick as it is. I'm like, hey, <laughs> that's like all. Just, man. That song paid for about 80% of all what we got around here, so you better. <laughs> hey, I think that's hey, that's a nice that rig she's yeah. driving around. Yeah, just got to turn it down. <laughs> you ain't got to change it, just turn it down. Yeah, that's the anthem. What are you talking about? <laughs> it ain't got to do nothing with Mr. Billy Gibbons, friend of Eric Clapton. <sighs> that's what his business card says. That is true. I, have, I, kept, I kept it. I have one of That's Billy Gibbons. That's what said on his business card? He a handed me a business Clapton? card, and it said, Ooh. Billy hey. Gibbons, friend of Eric Clapton. I oh, said, I hate play good as that. And it has that. his legitimate cell phone number. I'll fix that. I, I, had, never, I, I had to know. I didn't. I never called it because I thought I'd get blocked. Or oh, right. I did because they were playing at Bozier at Horseshoe one night, and I said, let me text him just see. And the old man texts. He's like, yeah, man, here's Pablo's number. See you tonight. Pablo, and, if you're out there, I love <laughs> yeah, you. Pablo sure enough. Yeah. Sure enough, me and Brittany went over there. Oh, yeah. and Pablo hung out let with him in, too. Him and Dusty, rest in peace. And, oh, they, no, they was, that's two cool dudes. Yeah, they were off. They got they up really there and are. did their thing. I was yeah. like, man, these boys been doing this for a long okay. time. And they looked like they still legitimately oh, no. enjoyed it. Oh, that they was, they do? That was wild. Mm. That was a good time. Man, those were Kind the of the days. days. They weren't the days. I got two kids now. So I can't say that. Those are come days. off as insane. These are the days. These are the days. Of These my are lives. the days. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Well, going back to that David Allen Coase Uh-oh. song. <laughs> you're right. You said you've never heard it In before dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard it when I wasn't doing something that I would was not supposed to be doing. Well, I was kind of hinting at that with the dark and the daylight. I, well, no, no, fair, no, though. Well, that's why that's why they canceled the, the, the show. Because, hey, he stayed in trouble, David Allen Cole did. He wrote some, I mean, yeah, raunchy, very, raunchy songs back in the 60s. Very own brand for him. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. See, uh, I'd have heard that song at a minor league hockey game, though, before. So, have you? Oh, yeah. The yeah. moccasins would play oh, that all the well, time. Monroe, only in Monroe, Louisiana. <laughs> and everybody would yell, by that darned old train, yeah. all together. Oh, well, can't help it. Can't help it. Got run, <laughs> boot. Never mind. Yeah. Got to do it. Got to. Oh man, alive! Yeah. Oh, as you will it. <laughs> well, I, tell it, tell it uh, like it is, boys. Hey. What else we got? Oh, well, I got oh, you been moving duck blinds? Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a lot. As I was saying, we got a lot of water in the area right now. River. There's water everywhere. Big time. So Phil gets all antsy. He gets <laughs> excited when when and when he gets to about forty <laughs> foot in Monroe because you know what that means. Hey, move the duck blinds. Yeah. Yeah. We can move the duck Gotta blinds. Gotta have the high water to move him duck blinds, boys. Mm hmm. But he, one of his favorite things to do is to put a man in front of the boat and run him through the brush wide open. Like a battering <laughs> ram. Yeah. He loves it. He <laughs> loves it. Well, during duck season, I just lay down because I know what's fixing to happen. Oh, that's the best way to be. But get in the bottom of the boat. I messed up and had my back. That's the, bad move. Through the front of the boat. Bad move. And I, and I saw him grin a little bit. <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm engulfed in the button willis. <laughs> you hear it just <laughs> scarred me up like like I got in a fight with a wild cat. Uh, that's <laughs> and he laughed and smiled. I said, "Well, you know, I'm glad he enjoyed it." Oh, he used to have hey, he used to have aluminum boats that had a big U in the front of it where he just center the cypress tree. Oh, yeah. Center. <laughs> the U is backwards. Backwards, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Them trees ain't got a lot of give. Uh, no. Oh, I wish I wish would have had a, had it filmed. It took us two years, okay, to get big cypress logs out of Shinney Lake. Okay. High water came up, and, and the people on the bridge, now the water is about that far from the bottom of the bridge and phil phil had timed it just right where just the motor could just barely it actually was scraping the concrete so he we ran he ran the from the he ran from the river all the way up shinny creek oh no we put in at shinny found the logs oh and then come back down them, the river tied them together one you know tied them end to end man had about all oh, 15 that's a rough creek, man. Okay, I've went, yeah. I've went yeah. up that thing all the way to 33. And man, oh, no, no, you... no, no. Look, it took us. That's why it took us two years. Ooh. We got them halfway down it before the water got too low. We couldn't move them anymore. 
So he just tied them up. Well, the next year or two years later, it came up again and got high enough. And look, and you're doing this in reverse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you say, "Hey, hey!" And I'm running you up. You look, torpedo that thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm running up and down the logs, floating, pushing them off of trees. You know, jumping over cottonmouth that's on the logs. <laughs> you know, yes, you know, we're laying there sleeping, going down. We finally made it to the river. We're laying there sleeping because it's been a daylight to dark deal. We're sleeping, and I feel something just go by me, yeah, on top of me, and I. I look like it. it's a cotton mouth. Ooh. And now he's crawling over Phil's chest. And I feel I cut, you know, he <laughs> threw him out in the river. So I've heard this story a oh, no. thousand times. How long did it take y'all to get from Shinny Lake to the river? Oh, good reef. We was on the creek for like three days. I believe it. I ran up to 33 one time. That's maybe the halfway point. Oh, yeah. And it, it took me almost a day to get to 33. Oh, no, no, no. It Ooh. took us about it's three so days. It's so thick in maybe, there. Maybe even longer. But it took us two years. And then, hey, the water's high, and we're coming on the north of the property, on Phil's property. Well, there's a bridge over there, and he's got to go in front of that bridge. With, and we got like 12 logs end to end. We got to get... <laughs> get them through there and i said you're never gonna make that because it was just just roaring and you could see the guard the end of the bridge guard the water was going over it i said you're never gonna make that phil anyway, he said we have to if we don't get past that we don't have a choice done mm. you know and the last last one hit it and hung up a minute and then it's just too too much current it yanked it and just cut, scrape on part of the wood off, and then we eased on the property, and he tied them up where he wanted them, to, where he thinks he's gonna put his blind. Well, you know what? What the cool, th- cool part is, we still hunt on them logs. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was my grandkids be hunting on. That them was logs. oh thirty years ago. Oh, I guarantee you. You know what he's doing right now? He wakes up every morning and goes down there to the point. And looks upriver as far as he can see, <laughs> and looks downriver as far no, as no. he can see. And if there's a cypress log or a piece of styrofoam oh, no. within eyesight, oh, yeah. he's going yeah. to get it. Here Red, we got to go. Yeah, yeah and no. there they go. And they oh, gonna no, hey, they look. gonna go get it, and they gonna tie it up somewhere. Our boathouse at the at the land where we put the boats. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was in flood stage. Yeah, it's come it's coming down, down the river. He went out there and hooked onto it, pulled it in on Cypress Creek, tied it up, put a, put a deal in the newspaper. I've got a boat dock at my property tied up. You got two weeks to reclaim it or, hey, it's mine. <laughs> is, that the, is that the rule on that? <laughs> oh, there's one year there. Hey, look, the one year he went out there like you was talking about. He's mowed along just kind of looking, and there is all kinds of tuba sixes. Two befores, four befores. I mean, it was just looked like it come out of the mill. Lumberyard. Yeah. It's just a pile of it. So we spent half a day on that. Chasing boys <laughs> up and down the river. I just running up and down the river, getting a, getting a bunch of them tied together and dragging them to the, to the creek. Hey, when, I, when we worked down there still... If something come floating by, oh yeah, it was stop what you're doing. Salvage. For, forget duck <laughs> yeah. calls. Yeah. Forget, forget duck calls. Uh, forget it get all. It, get in that boat in the boathouse and go get it. Yeah, boo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was wild. We have picked up so much crap. Oh, wow. And there's a lot of critters that live on that styrofoam. Oh. Because that styrofoam used to be under somebody's boat dock. That's it. So you can imagine, like, I mean, there's spiders as big as your hand. And, of course, me, I'm like, no, don't put that thing in here. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, throw it over in the boat. Yeah. So, so say what? And Phil, hey, take, Phil, take it and hit it. And if it stays solid, he said, yeah, we get that. And if it broke, he said, no, <laughs> rotten, let it go. That's right. There you I go. Mean, push, just push it off. All to not pay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all to well, save. Hey, no, that stuff is expensive. Yeah, what are you talking about? Pack. How much was that concrete? 15 grand. You know how much styrofoam we could buy for 15 grand? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you could float this house on it. <laughs> it's expensive, oh baby. Oh, All right, well, let's yeah. take another break. Yeah. We'll be back right now. Mm. Yeah, that junk's expensive.
Johnny Day, do you feel athletic? Well, not necessarily athletic, but I feel good. I was fixing to say, you don't look athletic. Well, that's not very nice. Well, hey, I'm just I do feel too. good, and it's because Stone turned me on to AG1 by Athletic Greens. I think mm. Christian showed them to you. Yeah. We're all taking them. Captain even America. Even Philip McMillan is taking these things. But look, it's super simple. You put one scoop in a bottle every day, shake it up in the morning, and boom, just like that. You're getting all your vitamins and minerals right there. That's right. 75 of them, people. High quality. It was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. So healthiest thing you can do, under a minute, every morning. You don't have to take all these different pills and supplements. Just one scoop in a drink, and bam, you're going to feel ready to take on your day. Your immune system is going to be armed, and you're going to be feeling great. It helps with literally everything. Gut health. Gut health. If you don't believe me, you can try it for AG1 for 90 days. They stand behind it so much, they have a 90-day money-back guarantee. So it's not for you, but it's going to be. They'll give you your money back. You got nothing to lose. Try it out. So take control over your health today, and AG1 will give you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash duck. That's athleticgreens.com slash duck. Check it out. And get 75 all of the minerals and goodies that you need. So I got a got a project I've been working on. It is a uh I'm interested. <sighs> a turtle relocation project. Hey, what? <laughs> turtle relocation project. Roll that clock. Red eared slider. Yeah. Red oh. eared slider. So I'm I'm working on a project where I'm transferring the turtles out of Willie's pond and putting them into Jason's pond. Right, also and, known as John Davis. Also pond. known as. <laughs> we got Johnny enough D turtles pond. in my pond. Well, you fixed to have a lot more. I didn't put 87 in there as of yesterday. <laughs> you caught 87 turtles? 80, me and Bullfrog, 87 turtles. I moved to, to Johnny D's and Jason's pond over there. Gar hole. Well, you know they go just it's back and hole. Well, yeah. it'll take them a long time. Now, if that starts, we might have to. Resort. I told him start clipping a toe on them so he could keep up with Put it. Tags oh, no, no, no. See, how, see how quick oh, yeah. they what make if, What if you just Speaking painted, their, them. painted their shell chartreuse or something? No. Well, hey. it'll, it'll slough off. Oh. But if you just go back there and just clip a toe, and he'll be yeah. fine. You'll be able to keep – you'll be able yeah. to see. What a, Speaking of clip them, yeah, oh, no. you have to get – you have to do something else if they start coming back. Yeah. Well – I'm telling you, hey. Yeah. Just shoot they, them right they in the back in, They back and forth to these ponds. Uh, 22 goes so the re- a long way. Reason 22 being, goes a long way with them, boys. Reason being, Willie Willie wants a... Uh, Turtle free pond? No. He, he he wants a a pond with nothing but trophy size pan, bass? pan fish. A pan fish? He said forget the bass. Oh, he's, he's out for he don't want He don't even worry about the bass. He okay. wants something he can eat. Yeah, okay. So he, he wants big brim. Yeah. Bluegills. We yeah. we put what he really wants. Knows. What now? What he really wants is something he can catch. What are you trying to say there, CEO? Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to say he ain't very much of a fisherman? Oh, well, well, he's I've, a heck of a pan fisherman. Well, I've been there with him. I've seen hey, it. Get that boy a can pole and a pile oh. of mud. He will turn it into oh, some brill. Yeah. I guarantee you. There you go. Oh, well, no, hey, that, right, that guy that lives right above Phil that's got that pond. Oh, him, the judge? Yeah. Him, him and Jason went, and they caught every every pan fish in that pond, that little pond. He's Who got. did? Willie, Willie and Jason. Oh. Mostly Willie, probably. Oh, well, Jay, he's a real one of nightmare. Jace is the worst pond poacher I've ever met. He he's doing the same thing to Willie's pond. Hey, boy, like hey, look, he's got a woman and kids that love to eat fish. He ain't got. We well, don't have a kid no more. Well, hey, they come in to visit every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> when he does, hey, that's what that's what get what they eat fish. Yeah, they're empty nesters now. <laughs> but now, uh, the reason being. Because we got five fish feeders that go off three times a day. So many turtles. And every time that one those fish feeders go off, guess what comes up? Yeah, turtles. Turtles. Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere you look. A lot of turtles. So you just start netting them, huh? And that fish food ain't cheap. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I put a Martin uh, uh, on on the on advice from Martin. I put out a hoop net and hung a can of sardines in the back of the hoop net and poked holes at it. Oh yeah. And I'm catching 10, 15, 20 at a time. Okay. 
That's how we used to catch them big old alligator snapping turtles in college when we'd have to do it. Mm. Oh, I think so. For herpetology. Them big old rascals go in there out there stinking. But now, you know, to get them big and you had to go to like the fish market. I'll fix that. And get them, get them cuts that weren't necessarily desirable. You'd get a lot of buffalo for like six bucks. Uh, mm. what, the what's fish. What's the biggest one the, y'all caught when you was in school? Like 85. 85 Ooh. pounds. Yeah, big one. But we would catch them, that too, on the like train tracks down there. Old. Yeah, we'd yeah. catch them on the train tracks when they were nesting. Yeah. Because at Black Bayou, they come out and nest on train tracks. And you just walk down there and grab it. Huh. Just pick him up. Hey, let me tell you something. You get you about one of them 60-pounders, make that walk down them train tracks. You, mm. Me and Phil caught You one. having some life decision questions about yeah. the time you I get back to the wait. train. No, 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 no. Me and Phil caught one on a trot line in a private lake we slipped in on. That's where Jace got it. See, it's genetic. Private the private lake we slipped hey, in on, also slipped known on. as we poached yeah. and trespassed. That's right. Yeah, but anyway, we got up there. We'd, all, we'd hit, <laughs> yeah. the, hit the line. Tomato, tomato, huh? Yeah, yeah. We'd, we'd hit the line, you know, where you couldn't find it. When we come up there to run it the next morning, it's out where you can see it. And Phil said, uh oh, the old boy found it. So we, we started running it, and it looked just like someone had took wire cutters. And just right at the eye, right below the eye, and just cut the hook off. 27. 27 in a row. Click, click, click. So we come up there, and then Phil said, Good gracious thing, huh? He said, Come up here and help me. I'm going to have to wrap the line around the boat paddle, and we're going to both break the line or either make pull it loose. So we both get on it, and we're pulling it. And here's just a big wad of limbs. It looked like moss coming up, and it's 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 about big around as this this table, you know, huge, you know. Well, we start grabbing the limbs and moss, and we reach reach down and grab some moss and start to pull it, and that log head <laughs> he runs his head out and just is is coming, boy. <laughs> Bite your hand off. That sucker weighed about 125. 125. Just huge. I knew I should have said 130. Hey, because that turtle been 150. Huge. So look, we didn't have no. We let it go. Go back to the house. Get a 22 rifle. Fill it full of hollow points. Don't kill him. No, no. 18. 18 hollow points. Just we pull it up. He comes out with that head. Just pow, 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 pow. 18 (laughs) rounds in the head. (laughs) Look, this rascal. Has taken 18, 22 hollow points and is still just. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's a dinosaur. Oh, hey, oh no. So we loaded up again and emptied another 18 in him. He stopped it. Ha, ah, ah. ha. After 18 of them, you should have oh, no. just let it bump. You should have said, you know what, you win. You oh, heard. no, no. Look, we gave that to an old man. And he, he you know, he just, man, he was just ecstatic. You know, oh, yeah. So he's butchered him, cleans him up, you know, all the meat that he's going to cook for his fans. Mm-hmm. Well, we come back two months later, and he's got it on his mantle above the fireplace. And he's got a giant eagle that he painted on it. Oh. Oof. Okay, look. <laughs> he's got a bald eagle <laughs> on this turtle shell that <laughs> has got a salmon that weighs 40 pounds in his grip. And the yeah. American hey. flag and Mike no, no, Lindell look, standing right behind both of them. dead gorgeous. And this old man painted that. <laughs> but it was beautiful. <laughs> and a grizzly bear was oh, on no, the Oh, no, hey, I'm saying, I'm saying this thing was gorgeous. And somewhere north of Shreveport, a Billy Ray Cyrus. Hey, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey, look. Oh, when <laughs> we was kids, we had a blast, okay? <laughs> Oh man! man. Well, Stone. In a couple days, when I walk outside, and there's four, there's a certain log between me and Jep's house that the turtles sit on. It's normally already pretty full. They probably got some new residents. Let's take another break. We'll be back right after. Johnny D. What is up? It's springtime. Look, y'all are tearing it up at the honey hole over there for fishing. Uh huh. Busy, busy. But you know what? You got plenty of time to go eat lunch, right? No, I don't. But you know what? What? This morning, six boxes of, well, one box of six meals of factor showed up. It's what I've been eating for lunch. I know I got that jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. Ooh. I know I got a spicy poblano beef bowl. I had a pork chop for lunch today. It's deli- By the way, I've been on this factor thing for a month, uh, probably two months now. 
instead of going through a drive through 10 pounds. Lost it. That's the only thing I changed. It's the best. And what's convenient. It's good food. And it tastes delicious. It's good food. Folks, if you're going to try Factor, can I recommend something? Get that sage pepper pork chop. Oh, Please. It's real good. Real <laughs> Please good. do it for you. That jalapeno lime chicken, get him. They're, they have some that are really, really good. And look, they're only going to have like 500 calories. I looked at them and I was like, you're actually sad that it's over. It's Because really you're like, good. man, I could really keep eating. But that's part of the reason Factor does it. They meal prep for you, give you healthy options. Keeping you on task for a new year. New you. We're already through a quarter of the year. Mm-hmm. Look, you're down 10 pounds. There's a lot of people that oh. lost 10 pounds earlier. But they didn't put back on 20, especially after Easter Bunny came. Yep. So that's why our friends over at Factor make it easy. They offer delicious flavor-packed options on the menu each week to fit a variety of lifestyles, whether you're keto, you're counting calories, you're vegan and veggies, protein plus. It doesn't matter. They've got it. They're prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. So each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long. And they got 34 or more options at any given time. Plus, they got like some cool add ons. Look, the, oh. You can get shakes, you can get no, no, cookies, no, 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 you can no. get jerky. You can get all those, but that jerky? Yeah. <laughs> See? I mean, look, there's the app right there. Next week, I'm getting ground pork and cheddar chili mac. There's that spicy <laughs> poblano <laughs> beef bowl. It's so good. That, I love it. It is good. Yeah. I, I got to where. On mine, I would kind of order the same thing every other because I found some really good ones that I that I wanted again. Not like, oh, I'll take this. No, I actually desired them again. So that's the cool thing about Factor. Head to factormills.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code duck50 at factormills.com slash duck50 to get 50% off your first box. Y'all ought to be ashamed shooting them turtles like that. No. Nah. Well, that's what Bullfrog want to do. She oh, I've shot them any of them. Don't let me kid you. She wanted to shoot them. I'm I, like, well, that's that's just, I just don't want any I said more. it'd be more fun to put them in Uncle Jace's pond. It'd be more fun to put them in Uncle yeah, Jace's that, pool. That thing's a gar hole. Oh, <laughs> I like that, that idea. That idea. But I've already told him what I'm doing, so. He'll know it's you. He'll, he'll know it's me. Yeah, but you could tell him you paid, you know, one of them Owen kids or something. And yeah. They did it. Yeah. They I'm the confused. only Owen kid. <laughs> no, you got kids. Oh, yeah. He ain't going to be mad at your kid. That's true. I wonder if I put one in Johnny's pool, what he'd do. I don't know, but I'd start putting a couple in everybody's pool. Johnny right walk out. See how long. Just see. Just hey, see. Turtles in the pool. Turtles I, in the pool. Well, I probably stay away from Big Dave's pool because. Well, well he, I, I, I don't. He I, on. I, he I on. He little on. He yeah. <laughs> don't mess with a man at the end of the street. Hey, uh-huh. I seen Big Dave stop the other day down there on the bridge going home. He's he has rod and reel in his hand. His First, dad. Hey, yeah. The first bridge, the uh, bridge? first, the first pond, that bridge, that first pond. Which one? When you come out on thirty four, when you leave Bakkenville. Really? Yeah. Big yeah, day road fishing. Oh huh? yeah, he's road fishing, boys. Boy, that time's getting hey. rough at the honey hole. Oh no, he's <laughs> checking. <laughs> hey, he's he, he's a man that when he says, "Hey, go here, you can catch him," he's done checked it out. I'm telling you. You sure that was him? Yeah, it was him. Okay. You sure it wasn't Mac? Mac was in town. That sounds more like a Mac move than a Dave move. Uh, was it Wednesday morning? Huh? I don't remember what day it was. It was Wednesday morning. I had but to... He was in a little blue car. Your dad drive a blue car? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is why eyewitness reports are unreliable. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he's, well, got, he's got two, two different, different blue tundras, was, but no was little, little blue one that was blue. But, it, uh, but I'm telling you, it was it was uh, no, well, your dad. I've spent a many a day... Sitting behind that Darbone Spillway. Oh, yeah. With a treble hook. Oh, yeah. It one of them seven foot one, snagging poles. Yeah, three tailed shrimp and a heavy <laughs> yeah. weight and a big rod. Three tailed <laughs> yeah. shrimp, that's right. You catch any big old catfish? Oh, uh, big, them big old uh, spoon bills. Oh, spoon bills. Spoon bills. Mm hmm. That's a nasty fish. Oh, he's nasty. They cool, though. Anything that opens their mouth and stinks like they stink. Whew. Whoa. Well. I mean, and hey, and it, hey, I don't know how big them things get. <laughs> big, big, real. Big, hey, big. I, they are up there. You, you one. ever ate one? No. I had about a 35 or 40 pounder pull me around on Washita River a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, I just took the motor off spot lock and let him pull me down the river. <laughs> there you go. I tried. I got no, we, were, we were in Kansas. Were you snagging? I think no, I was bass fishing. In some states, he was bass legal. fishing and bass. He hit it <clears throat> like a bass. He did. He thump. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. 
talking about, I got a bull here. On a spinning rod. Yeah. Well, I knew when I set the hook, I said, uh-oh. <laughs> well, in some states, it's legal to catch them, but supposedly they're endangered in oh, Louisiana. Man, that's a bunch of bull. When you can run a treble hook yeah. through just yeah. open water. Yeah, and, and catch them. And just the whole pile of them. Yeah. Snag them. Yeah. Look, I got some really cool images on my depth finder. Of them. That's like they yeah. say. The I turkey, know where they are. Turkey the buzzard is extinct. That's a bunch of bull. The what? The turkey buzzard. Turkey buzzard? Oh, yeah. The, fish, the fish. Uh, uh, comer- 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 yeah. yeah. That's bull. Uh, that's a bunch of bull. They ain't in the no. danger. I can't remember when it was. of them stupid things. No, that old boy uh, in Kansas, we were duck hunting in Kansas, and he said, y'all need to try this. It's the best fish you'll ever eat. Uh-oh. He said that? Yeah. And I said, what is it? He said, smoked spoon cat. Mm. <laughs> smoked. Spoon cat. <laughs> that does not sound like the best fish no. I've ever had. Anything it. that stinks like a spoonbill oh, catfish. There it is. No. You they, they smell, it's dead. Send it to Johnny. Ooh, D. It's d- but he, he just kept on and on about how good it was. He's he all, roast. I'll try anything he wants. So I tried it, and it was it it tasted like, if you could imagine, smoked thread fin shad. Oh. <laughs> smoked thread fin. Oh. oh, that's nasty. Hey, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that big right old there, That thing is stinking like, I mean, something dead right now. He didn't stink near as bad as I did when I got done with him. But I know. But I'm so, ooh. <laughs> you needed a shower yeah. after that. Look, after I caught him, look, I grabbed, see that point on the river right there? That's what I was fishing, catching little spots. I know. No, not, not right, no, back behind my head. On other, right Over there, here. Right there. Uh-huh. I was catching a bunch of little spotted bass. Uh, get me some groceries. <laughs> you got enough fishing poles, that's for sure. Yeah, well, you had to get them. You'd bring them to the boat. So, see, you had a little bit of everything. Top water, spinner bait. Yeah, I'm, I'm just rig. Well, you don't have to. Hey, just pick it up. Yeah, pick it up and go. Pick it up and go. Yeah, but right. That's pro fishing. Okay. No, that's yeah. just I didn't want to retie. Uh, well, hey, that's just pro fishing, though. Yeah. That's pro fishing. Hey, same right. time. Hey, just pro. pick it up and throw it. But pro I caught fishing. me about seven or eight of them spots, and then that rascal hit it, and oh. I said, uh-oh. <laughs> and, that's gonna be a ride and you see how far i am from that point now i just un i just untook it off spot lock and just said no what is that floating in the water there? where'd I don't you, know. Devil? where'd you hook him at right in the corner of the mouth down there up under his you think he bit that bait no i mean i think he, it was a little ned rig i think he just come through there with his mouth open oh, feeding okay. and just Ooh, accidentally that's a weird looking fish what are you talking about look at the, look at that eye yeah. <laughs> that's a weird that's looking a animal. dinosaur yeah. caught him on eight pound fluoro oh man yeah 20 that's pound braid, good. eight pound fluoro. Yeah, that's pretty good. How did you? I just held on. For dear life? Yeah, I, I just let him pull the boat. That's my little aluminum. So I just let him how pull me around. How, how old do you think that thing is, Martin? He, he old. That scratch right there come from my, that blood come from my rod holder when I was trying to wrestle him up in there. When I used to have all them crappie rods up there, you can see them studs in my floor. I got just as big a one on my knee because I wasn't paying attention where I put my knee down to get mm. him. But, that was a big fish. Yeah, that's a cool one. That's a good one. I threw him back. I didn't eat him. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame you there. I took my picture with him, and I said, yep. see ya. Yeah, you don't want no part of that. That's a good that's one. Smoked thread. That's just above fan. Phil's yeah. house there yeah. on the river. Yep. That's just above his house, about five miles maybe. That's what always amazed me is what you catch Yeah. out of all, Never? like salt water. You know, tell them, when you set the hook in, you know, tell them what you're going to reel in. I reeled in a crab on one one day. Oh, yeah. We need to go back down there. Yeah. <laughs> Plan a trip. Hey, I saw Captain Josh. He he done shaved his beard. He looking kind of funny. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he shaved it? Oh, completely. Oh, no. Huh. That's sad. Smooth face. Mm. Yeah, he looking. I said, where'd you see that? On on the book of faces. He won third place in a redfish tournament oh, okay. or something this weekend. Uh, well, that boy can catch him, that's for sure. Yeah. Right. I hate he done that. He, he yeah. put us on them big... Big 40 pound red. There you go. Well, let's take our last break. Let's get in them emails when we come back. 25 is what we call it. In them emails. All right. Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the email address. Johnny D, you got anything keyed up in there? Oh, I got a lot today. Oh, the good. I like it. But first, my friend Drew, D R U E, (laughs) she sent this in. And it just made me giggle. Battle vision, baby. <laughs> and got so, a look about him. That is funny. So I'm just going to leave that there for the rest of the time. Drew, I'm going to critique you mildly on your drawing. 
Yep. His beard is way too even. Yep. <laughs> way too uniform. It is pretty, yeah. though. Way too uniform. It you need to make that right beard. side just a little bit shorter than that That's left right. side, and we'll be on to something. That's it. <laughs> but other than that, you're pretty spot on. And it's very scraggly. It's yeah. scraggly looking in that. Well. That's got a new uniform. Well, what's so funny about it, a shotgun is what did that. Yeah. And continues to do it. You think yeah. he learned after 60 years, get it out the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'd like to cut it off, get it out of the way. No, uh, all right, look, that shotgun take it off there, you know, every once in a while. You need to shoot left handed for a season. No. Nah. Even her out. No. <laughs> no. Oh, it's dangerous enough as it is. Oh, boy. Like, uh, oh, hey, ain't no ever danger with me. Oh, so. uh, what else you got? All right, my man, I'm e. like old Bubba. You know, I shoot what I hit at. Oh, Bubba I, shot the jukebox. Yeah, I meant to shoot old, that jukebox. Old Mark Chestnut song, played, Johnny D. You'd have to really be knowing some old country to get that. I'm Sergeant York, and I'm, I'm yeah. taking that win uh, and going home with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Eli <laughs> emails in. Uh, 16, he once sent us a package that had a Michael Jordan card in it, which was really cool to me. Thank you, sir. Oh. So, uh, hey, if you email in, I'm going to answer that question. He needs some advice. He's working at a plant nursery. What is that, Martin? It's a nursery. Trees. Like Sammy's plant work. Yeah. Okay. Trees. Uh, Young trees. Loves the people. Not sure about the work. He was just offered a job at a golf course working there. Um, just so happens the guy that offered this job, he's got a crush on his daughter. Both like each other. They've already been on two dates. He really wants to take the golf course job because I would make a lot more money, he says. And I'd get to see old girl a lot. But I feel loyalty to the nursery. Since I've been working there for almost two years, should I stay at the nursery or start at the golf course? <laughs> stay at the nursery. Whoa! Don't dip your pen in company ink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. I'm just, I'm just uh -oh. telling you right now, don't go there. That's right. Don't uh -oh. go there. That's his advice. I would go the other way. I'm with Cy. Si. Right. Uh, if you get uh -oh. more money at the golf course... Hey, like like my like, friend Diddy say, man, the, more money, more problems. I would have yeah. to take the right. <laughs> There's also a saying that says, don't crap where you eat. Yeah. Yeah, that goes right there with dipping your pen in company ink. Yeah. yeah, don't just stay away from there. If you like the girl. What's more important to you, the girl or maybe like a little bump up in money, mm. more hours? Yeah. I think technically, wait, let me read it word for word. Would make a lot. Quotation marks, a lot more money. A lot hey, more money. Do whatever's good for you, man. Hey, I would just say this. There's a lot of fish in the ocean. <laughs> so go to the golf course? <laughs> so go, go to the and golf if it gets course. weird, just be uncomfortable <laughs> every day. But at least course, you got more boy. money. So I can speak from experience. He used to be an assistant greenskeeper. Yeah, how is hey, it? I enjoyed, I enjoyed working at the golf course. It's outdoors. Okay. Were you chasing and, your boss's daughter? Uh, no. Okay. No, I was chasing the superintendent Just so. about nine out of ten mornings saying, hey, you got to let me duck hunt on this stupid golf course, deer hunt on it, bass fish, and crappie fish. There typically is pretty good fishing on it. Oh, hey, way. look, you know, you're fertilizing the greens every day. Okay. That fertilizer helps fish grow big. So go and to hey, the golf everything course. in the world. Hey, that's where all the game is at today. It's on the golf course. There's big deer that's on them. Okay. There's ducks that lie on them. <clears throat> you know, and a lot of big bass and big crappie. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. He finally he finally let me fish. And then I find out after I leave, a buddy of mine called and said, Hey, guess what happened? And I said, What? He worked at the golf course. He said, I just killed that big 14 point we used to see when we was more in the fairways. And I said, wait a minute. You mean, how, did you slip in and kill him illegally or did they let you hunt? He said, oh, no, the superintendent's letting us hunt on it now. I said, hey, when you go to work tomorrow, go in there and punch him right in the nose for me. As much as I ask that boy to let me hunt. Mm -hmm. And then he does it after I leave. I don't recommend doing that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I wish so you had done it. advice is go, go to the, the golf, golf course. course. Hey, my advice uh, is go to the golf course. There you go. It's a lot of fun. because there can't be wrong. Hey, <laughs> and you get a lot more money. <laughs> and there's plenty of fish in the and sea hey, and, and look, in the golf course. There's plenty of women right. in this world. 
Ah, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't help there. Well, the reason I, I hey, said that split I, decision. No, no. The reason I said that is he had he won your word that got my attention. Young advice. Mm -hmm. You're young, so hey, go for it, my man. More money. There you go. All right, more money, more problems. That's right. Just more, more golf money, course. More money, more problems. Action every way you look at it. All right, Jerry from Ontario, Canada. Um, he's a little behind, but he's catching up on the podcast. He's 18, so he's starting to uh, – Man. We got a lot of young you, listeners. You don't hear many 18-year-old Jerry's, though. That's, a, that's cool. That's awesome. I like it. I like that that name's. I'm like that that name's making a comeback. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, my bad, Johnny Duke. Okay, so Jerry says that's funny. You got me pretty good on that one. Oh, Jerry. So he's getting older, but he's not a hunter, not a fisher, not a builder, not a car guy, sports guy. What in the world do you do in Canada? What do you do, Jerry? Well, he doesn't really want to be uh, – he's not really interested in those things. Well, hey, That's fine. I'm just wondering what you do in Canada. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But he's tall and skinny. Um, he doesn't want – he wants to be like a good, like, manly man, but he's not into all those things. I don't want to be a – and I quote, this is the most Canadian thing I've ever heard in my life, big, angry lumberjack fueled with diesel testosterone. I just want to be – a real man and a good one, but not a big, angry lumblejack fooled by diesel testosterone. Uh, well, start in the book of John. That's the best fo the blueprint you can get for being a man. That's right. So, Whoa. There you go. You ain't got to chop down trees. You yeah. ain't got to have beards. You ain't got to do nothing. Just live a good, honorable life. You can be a man, but without fixing cars. I can't fix a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. You can, you can, there's a there's a hundred different ways you can be a man. It don't it, I, what do just say? because you don't big hunt or angry fish. lumberjack with yeah. diesel testosterone. Yeah. That's awesome. Just because you <laughs> that, don't hunt a fish, don't. That's a perfect a description of Phil. Like that, <laughs> that, that that he pretty much. So what did Phil, Phil say? Right? Phil, the story goes when he went to clear that property, he showed up with a chainsaw <clears throat> on foot and said. <laughs> His exact words were, we rule these woods. Him and Mike oh, Williams. And he cleared yeah. out that whole thing yeah. <laughs> with a him, chainsaw. Him and Mike Williams. So, yeah. That's you what, don't that's what be he that told guy. him when he walked out there. They walked out there yeah. and they're standing in the middle of the woods, oak, oak woods, in, in a low place. And he said, hey, Williams, we rule these woods. We rule. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> But, no, that's true story. I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but, follow the blueprint of the best man yeah, that ever walked this is. earth. Yeah, yeah that's right. I mean, and I, if God. you're around people that are uh, like, I don't know why you would feel that way. I don't think we would make you feel that way because you know, no. I I'm not a big angry diesel fueled testosterone man. I don't think any of y'all are either. But we oh, do I drive a gas burner. We, we do. <laughs> we do hunt and Stone fish. Drive but, a diesel. Your hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, your hobby is not what makes you or breaks you as a man right. yeah. no. by any That's means. Yeah. You can have whatever hobby you want. I mean, now are some more outdoorsy? Sure, but that makes them outdoorsy, not a man. Yeah. Just be a what, is your, what is your hobby? Currently uh, fishing a little bit. I went to Darbone the other day. In a uh, kayak. Yeah, I, a I, was, worm. I was there for 30 whole minutes before I went to a eight-year-old soccer game. So my oh, current hobby right. is raising children. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. <laughs> Well, what else yeah, you got? You got you got a Bible verse for him for being I a man. Him. I do. There you go. I do because I figured that's an easy one. There. Who was the ultimate man? There you go, Jesus. There he is. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Matthew twenty-eight, Jesus is talking to his father. No, Matthew twenty. That was weird. He's talking. I don't even think there. You got twenty-eight on your mind. Well, it's verse twenty-eight. Yeah. Um, Matthew twenty. He's talking to his followers, starting in twenty-five. He called them together, and he said a few things, and then right at the end, he says, "Whoever." Uh, wants to be first must be your servant just as the son of man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many mm. you want to be a real man serve the people around you whatever they need do it that's what real men do might not be hunting fishing it might be going to a seven-year-old soccer game 
Serve people. Makes you a real man. Boom. Love it. There you go. All right. We'll see y'all next time here in the call room. We're out. Uh